cramps, 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 cramps. <laughs> Thanks for the lift home, punter, but I'm kind of pissed about my bike getting jacked. Don't you Salinger types move to places like this because literally no one else would? Yeah, no problem. If I left you high and dry, somebody might try to teach me something. Hey, punter, what was that? Oof. I guess this is the part where I get out and tell you I have no idea. Ever been to Spectrum 7? They once did a quadruple feature of movies that begin exactly like this. Which? Uh, Wolf Creek, Hills Have Eyes, House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh, looks like there's a tow truck in our future. If there's only room for two in the cab, I'd call the truck bed. It starts exactly like the plot of- Oh my god, stop. At least it won't be a taxi. You have no idea how many of those drivers are pervs and serial killers. Maybe you've been reading too many of Three Masters horror submissions. Have I been subconsciously sending you the draws? A lot of cab drivers use the profession to target people. Oh, I was much happier not knowing that. And how many of them are featured as serial oh, killers in why, heart? Why are you filming? Well, if we get our souls devoured by wraiths, whoever avenges us will know exactly where to spray the specter oil. I, I just don't understand why you love horror movies so much. Does watching a half-naked girl make the dumbest decisions imaginable really turn you on? Sure, there's gore and stupid people, but there's also a lot of pretty cutting-edge social commentary. Damn, Punter isn't even here to appreciate that pun. Pun. Punter. <laughs> The Exorcist is about a girl going through puberty and becoming more than a child, rebelling against social norms and coming into sexual awareness. It's framed as a possession by Satan as a way to critique how society views women coming of age, and adult women for that matter. How about ginger snaps? A girl has sex, turns into a werewolf, and starts tearing people apart. It's all about the basic patriarchal fear of women's sexuality. There's an entire subgenre of horror dedicated to that exact theme. It's totally in your wheelhouse, or whatever. Huh. I think that you and I are taking a trip to the Spectrum 7 if Punter ever gets us out of this. And if I can crank out the issue on time. Hello, let's do a horror issue of Three Master. I hardly think that we'll get another Frankenstein. We'll get stuff that shakes us to the core of our humanity, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, Mary Shelley invented science fiction on a dare. If I see one cover letter with the words reinvent or genre blend, I will personally ensure that their rejection letter says I'm embarrassed for you. Where the hell is Punter? Anyway, I liked working on that ghost show. I had a good time. People watching it had a good time, so it was rewarding in that sense. No one suffered for some deeper truth. Will you breathe for a second? Seriously, though, horror issue. Not up to me. So, you don't believe in ghosts, then? Not the ones that imitation Ghostbusters hunt down on reality TV. But, uh... Have you ever had an encounter? Not sure, actually. I mean, I've been plenty of places that were supposed to be haunted, both for work and for free time, but, you know, sometimes you notice stuff out of the corner of your eye, but you're setting yourself up if you go unbelieving. Your turn. Um, I played with a Ouija board once with my best friend. We set up candles and <laughs> we were just messing around. The weird thing was, uh, some of the candles just blew out as if there was a breeze or something, but man, all the windows were closed. Wow. That shut you up. Eh, scary stories are part of my blood. Nothing bothers me anymore. Okay, seriously, where is Punter, though? Mm -mm. Speaking of the dumbest decisions imaginable, I was so convinced that we were going to get home normally that I didn't bring any tampons with me. Make a horror movie about that. Carrie. I will swallow your soul. Evil did too. <sighs> okay, let's keep telling ourselves that Punter wasn't captured by Bluebeard or something. Yeah, love that confidence. What are you saying? Pretty soon we're going to have to start sharing stories about our favorite moments as friends. This is all my fault. Coming out here before a full moon. And in my condition, no less. Is that supposed to mean something? Because I, I remember reading that- <gasps> Oh my god, no, please, I haven't finished the issue!
wait, what? How is that an ending?